Good morning guys. Find me today moored up at Long Eaton. I'm doing a little bit of work on the boat. Doing some painting in this front well deck. This is all marked off where I want to put some non-slip material down. Nothing special, but definitely clean that up to make it a little bit more weatherproof for the winter. I'm going to be doing down to the D bar there. Try and tidy it up and clean it up a bit. I'm moored up here at bridge six. Here's the steps which takes us up onto the road. The only unfortunate thing about mooring here, I've had to pin in because there's no mooring rings or anything along here. It's not an official mooring. So it makes it 14 days of nothing else. So here goes. This is a very busy town. That's the old mill building there, which I showed you in a previous video. There's a fishing, there's a fishing tackle shop opposite here. There's Bennett's pub just over there. And there's another pub just the other side of the bridge there, which I can't remember the name of. The Mill Brook, I think it is. The Mill and Brook, that's right. The Mill and Brook, I can see the sign from here. We head up the road in that direction and walk up to the church there, you can just about see in the distance and take a right. There's a laundrette down there, so that's very handy for us boaters. In the opposite direction, we have the shops. So let's walk to the shops. Well, I am guessing a little bit here. Although this is not a charity shop and a few other things here at the moment, I'm gonna guess this was once a cinema. Look at the building, the roof and the flooring. It definitely looks like an entrance to an old cinema to me. But I could be wrong. Well, this has been called stage one. It all leads to this definitely being an old cinema, I'm guessing. This could be another one here as well. Definitely looks like that type of entrance to me. Currently, obviously, not in the greatest of sin. Ah, look at that. I think I'm right. Why, why would that side be up? As I approach the roundabout here, I've got quite a few nice flowers around. Just over there is Asda. Oh dear, looks like somebody didn't get around the roundabout very well. The old town is facing up that way, I think. I'm walking across there. Well, I want to go into Wilco's. We carry on just up there and go to the right. We have a Tesco's Extra and also there's an Aldi up there. But it's Wilco's I'm after today. So, here goes. Well, I'm back at the bridge, bridge six. Boat just down there. I've been told there's a pet shop up here and it's uh, like budgie sand I need. You know, they put in the bottoms of bird, stuff you put in the bottom of a bird cage. Uh, let's try that out. It's great for uh, making non-slip paints, basically. Anyway, let's go and find out. Needs restaurant. Ah, but that was right. The Mill and Brook. And here's another shot of Bridge Mill. Or Bridge Mills, I believe. All sorts of takeaways up here. More Cantonese. And the good old fish and chip shop. Sportsman big pub here. I can't 
can't tell you anything about any of these pubs because I haven't been in any of them. And unfortunately, if they call that a great new menu, burgers and pizzas, that's not for me. One would suggest this wasn't always a barber's shop. It was lovely posts. Butchers perhaps, greengrocers, something like that I would have guessed. Well, I've walked up to that church, no pet shop. I don't see what anyone or anywhere where there is one. It's just down there where that car is coming up right now is where the laundriette is. And I know it's not down there, I've walked down there before to the laundriette. So I guess it's back to the boat. Well, here's that church again we walked past on the way up. What's more, what type of church it is? It's called the Oasis. No idea. Actually, probably now I'm not into churches. Well, that's bringing me to the end of this video. Let's walk, walk back to the boat. Two things I left the boat for this morning to get some more paint and some more sort of budgie sand I call it the sand that goes in the bottom of bird cages it makes it's very clean and it's very good anti-slip you add it to your paint you know, paint sprinkle it on rub it in a little bit of a brush and then when it's dry you can dust it off and you can even paint over the top of it then to make it black again. Well, black again because I'm using black paint. Sorry about the background noise here. As you can almost certainly tell, very, very busy roads. Of course, a big thank you goes out to my Patreon, PayPal, and Super Thanks supporters. If you don't know about Super Thanks, whilst you're watching the video, you can click on Super Thanks and help the channel out. I appreciate everybody that's done that already. And if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe and hit that old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video and click the old like as well that really helps the algorithm and share if you like this video share it with your friends I know this is perhaps not my normal type of video I don't normally do towns but I thought I'd do one for a change well, I much prefer the small villages as my off the cut series but right, just as we say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.